Stonewashing. Am I doing it right? Who knows? All that and more on today's episode of I Make Things. So here I have an S30V Benchmade Griptilian. I made some aluminum scales for it. They look great, but they need to be finished. So I thought, why not do a nice stone wash to match the blade? So, jumping in the deep end, I'm using a protein shaker I got for $4.99. Should last longer than the actual shakers I use that I forgot to clean that one time. Along with an assortment of nuts and bolts and some epoxy. Why is epoxy needed, you may ask? Well, that's why. I'm going to start by cutting a hole in the bottom for the bolt. Now, I'm not going to drill a hole because this particular type of plastic has a tendency to crack. Next, I'll mix up generous amounts of epoxy. Feed the bolt through. I'm not using the epoxy on the bolt itself, I'm just using it on the large washers, on both of the sides. This is to add structural integrity to the bottom of the shaker, as a lot of the weight from the rocks and the parts is directly applied to the screw and the washers. For the actual stone mix I'm using this crushed quartz. I picked up for a few dollars, same sort of stuff you use in like a fish tank, and some sort of rocks I found in my garden. Only the highest of quality on this channel. About 60% of the fine rocks and 40% of the garden rocks. Then add a nice slathering of WD-40 and it's ready to go. Now for the actual tumbling part, you can use a machine like me, but just to prove that it can also be done by hand, and so I don't have to read predictable comments about machines people don't have. I used my first shaker with some of the leftover stone mix, with a brass pry tool, a copper heatsink, and a bit of aluminum. Most common EDC materials, aside from titanium which I will get into later, and tumbled by hand for 4 minutes, with a rather suggestive technique. As you can see, the results look great. Obviously, the longer you go, the more of a finish you'll get, this was just a proof of concept that for these sorts of metals, it can be done by hand. And just remember, you want your stone mix to be proportional in size to the parts you're trying to finish, at least roughly. Okay, so back to the scales. After about an hour and a half, these scales are ready to come out. The reason why the scales were in for that long was because I was trying to remove the CNC lines, which I did manage. Then I'll throw in a VG10 Delica blade and see how that goes. So for the results, copper, four minutes by hand. Looks better in person, but I would prefer to leave it in a little bit longer. Aluminum, four minutes by hand. Basically, if you have a clean part going in, it doesn't take as long to get a good finish. Brass, 4 minutes by hand, honestly out of all the parts done by hand it looks the best, removes the patina easily and adds a nice subtle finish. Aluminum scales, 1.5 hours, slow speed, looks great and has a matte feel. Titanium, 2 hours on a fast speed, it took longer and has a really grey sort of look to it, but this may be because there isn't actually that much surface area to finish. Next is VG10 steel, 2 hours by machine, with a fast speed. It has a nice muted finish that catches in the right light. Lastly, H1 steel, 3 hours slow speed. It came out beautiful, H1 steel scratches really easily, so it probably didn't need to be in there that long, but there were a few little scratches and lines I was trying to get out. So you have to preface it these results by saying they would vary wildly depending on the stones being used and at the speed in which you're tumbling them. By hand, with just some random rocks, you can produce similar results. But by doing it with some sort of machine, whether a drill or an actual tumbler, or a lathe in my case, the speed and mix becomes the biggest factors, along with the material. The mix I have is very fine and subtle wash, it's not very aggressive. I personally like it, but it does seem to take longer than if I was using just straight stones. And finally, onto the beauty shots. First off, factory stone wash on a 940, and my stone wash in comparison.
So that's going to be all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed, maybe learned a thing or two. If you did, remember to subscribe. Got a lot of upcoming EDC content or some of my other channel's content may be of interest. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one. I see you've made it to the end. Why don't you subscribe and check out some of our other builds? Go on. What are you waiting for?